Cal, you've shown us strategies for teaching the addition facts. What's the strategy for teaching subtraction? Well, we do do, do teach uh, subtraction using um, strategies. We do use clusters. And probably the best way to demonstrate what would be the organizing way for the strategies for subtraction would be to give you a, uh, a situation. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the amount of money you have. Okay. And this is something you're buying. That's what it costs. Including tax. Including tax. Eighty nine dollars. Wow. Okay. Now I guess the question I'm going to ask you is that if you buy that and you use that amount of money, how much money will you still have left in your wallet? Let me tell you. Uh, it's eleven dollars plus fifteen dollars, so twenty six dollars. So how'd you work that out? I added what? up to one hundred dollars, neat, and then I added the fifteen. Right. But what was the question I asked you? Well, you asked me if I start with this amount and spend some money, how much do I have left? So. So if you start with that and you spend this, what does that sound like? Subtraction. Subtraction. Yeah, it's, a, it's a subtraction problem, no doubt about it. It's take, but, away. take away. But it's you specific. didn't solve it by taking away. No, that would be, well, that's quite, in traditional sense, it's quite messy, isn't it? It involves regrouping, but uh, I guess I could have subtracted parts of that number. But uh, no, it just seemed natural for me to start with $89, add up to $100, and just add the 15 So if we wrote what was going on here, if we wrote some number sentences that went on, what would be the number sentence that you would write for what the initial problem was? Well, I'll show you if you like. Um, if you take the subtraction problem, uh, what you asked me was, uh, was $115, right?